to In The Cave with Chattel Jonas. My guest at this time is singer-songwriter Amina Jahara. And how you feeling right now? I'm good. I'm good. All right. So you got your new music coming soon. Why don't you tell us a little about it? So the song is called LIT Freestyle. And LIT stands for Love Isn't True. I named it that because in the song, I say that. (laughs) So um, that's why I decided to put Love Isn't True. Um, I call it a freestyle because I literally freestyled it. Like, I only really wrote the hook before I recorded it, but everything else I just freestyled. And it was my first time, really, I would say freestyle it in the studio. So, yeah. (laughs) Now, based on our last conversation, you mentioned that your last album was all based on love, Mm -hmm. building a relationship. Yeah. Now, with your single coming up, can we expect a new album from you? And even more so, is it like what we discussed last time, going to be the development of a breakup? Um, I would say no to an album now. I kind of want to work on just dropping singles and visuals to get my face and name out there more. Right. Um, being that I took like probably like a two-year break, if I really think yeah. about it, like almost two years of not really putting anything out um, for a lot of reasons. So I... I think I just want to focus on pushing singles and visuals out. Uh, this song isn't really about a breakup. It's kind of about being in a toxic relationship right. and kind of like admitting that you're in a toxic relationship. Because <laughs> I feel like sometimes people don't do that. It's like, right. I'm in a relationship, but am I? Like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, especially in New York, like, that's very common to be in a relationship but not really in a relationship. So I kind of wanted to, like, touch that topic. And to provide that type of topic, and this is really different from all your other things like Need You. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel about stepping into a different element of releasing this type of music style? I'm excited. I think it's, I think I needed to find my tone, my voice, my sound. Yeah. And I think the song kind of like incorporates a lot of the different things that I want to do and like my other music that'll come out after. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing crazy, crazy. Now, once your single releases, how do you hope that your supporters will react to the single release? I think they'll be surprised <laughs> from my other stuff, but um, I think they'll like it. I yeah. think once they listen to the words and see like where it's going and what it's about, I think it's like very relatable. Honestly. Yeah, I totally agree because I definitely felt like it was a different <laughs> vibe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I've never heard you sing like that before. <laughs> like, not like your voice vibe, but the type of verses that you put into yeah, it. Yeah, like the flow of it and everything. Like, yeah. yes. What was the inspiration behind it? Well, I I was watching my friends go through a lot of different things, like, as far as their love lives. Yeah. And not that I hadn't been through things that they had been through, but I was very removed from like dealing with certain things. And I feel yeah. like my friends were still in that space, but they didn't really have a song to like go to <laughs> to express exactly what they were going through. Right. So I kind of was writing from their perspective, which was also new for me too. Like I wasn't necessarily writing about what I was going through. I was writing about what other people around me were going through. Yeah. <laughs> now, with that being said, it's probably too soon to say this, but will there be a music video prior to your music release? Like, well, in a later long? Yeah, I want to see how the single does first. I don't know if I this is the song that I want to focus, like, a visual on, because I have so many other songs that wow. I'm going to release this year. So I don't know if this is the one. I kind of want to see what it does. <laughs> like, right. if it gets a lot of attention and I feel like people really, really like it, then, yeah, I'll definitely do a video for it. Because I already have a video in mind for it. So why not go for it? You got a video in mind. Everybody's going to yeah, catch but, your attention. But I, videos ain't cheap. <laughs> so if you go to a video, it got to be for like the one of the best songs you have or the one that you feel like it's going to do the best. You know, you don't want to put so much in a video and it's like, yeah, it didn't. The song itself didn't really get the attention. You know? Yeah. But so. how do you how do you feel about finishing up the single and getting ready to release it? Like, how do you feel about the concept or how you put it all together? I'm excited. I was a long process a really long process just because uh, I didn't want to put anything out that I wasn't happy with I feel like all my other music like I wasn't happy with the production of it or like how it really sounded not not necessarily partially me and partially just like you know engineers and (laughs) dealing with all that kind of stuff so I'm excited because it's something I'm actually happy about now when can we expect your single to be released on April 22nd on my birthday (laughs) (laughs) so That'll be the birthday present. You don't got to buy me nothing. Just <laughs> listen to the song. <laughs> so in that case, it got to be a music video for it. Bro. I should, right? I yeah, should. Exactly. I probably should. It's my birthday. Like, now. I should drop one. I 
feel like I'm about to put you on the spot a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to preview it, like singing out loud, just like, you know? Like the whole song? Not or the whole like song. Part of it? Like, like part of it, you know, snippet. Okay. So, all right. So the first verse of the song goes, um, I ain't going, uh, we've been on some um shit. We've been on some fuck shit. This is dysfunction. We fell in love quick. Now I think we both sick. Yeah, I think it's costing, and I'm right where I shouldn't be. This dumb shit, it ain't new to me. What do you do to me? Tell me, what do you do to me? Cause we ain't even toxic, we just stupid. Like, really, what are we doing? I'm stuck, but I'm still moving. I'm lost, but I'm still tuned in. Right, right. I wanna do you all night, all night. But then I wake up and get tight. Cause something just ain't right. Something just ain't right. Cause really everything is wrong. I see the messages, yeah, they point through your phone. Why I'm acting like our love is really strong. We knew this all along. I can't keep calm, no. We know better than that. Once I leave, I ain't coming back. But how many times have I said that? We fuck around, then relapse. <laughs> that's the first person. Yeah, that's fire right there. Thanks. That is so fire. Is there anything else that you would like anybody to know about your upcoming single or like mm -hmm. what else to expect from you? Because you did say that you have a couple of singles. Yeah. So that's unreleased. You would you like to refer to more detail of that or just like nah? Mm, sure. So I feel like where I'm going with my music is kind of like I want to uh, touch a lot of topics I feel like aren't touched. Right. As yes. far as like like this song, like it admitting to yourself that you're in a toxic relationship like yeah, that's very exactly. hard for people to do like yeah to look in the mirror and be like wow this is really stupid <laughs> like, I, this is serving me that. no purpose but i'm still sitting here um so a lot of my music is kind of touching that it's touching like dating life where it's yeah. like you know i'm dating two people like i'm i'm not dating two people <laughs> but, <laughs> but like like but example. people who are dating two people like yeah sometimes women have options and it's like yeah. we're allowed to have options exactly. and sometimes within those options there's guys that are a little more clingy than others and I feel like stuff like that is not talked about it's always like women are the clingy ones where it's like it's not always like that. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes exactly. it's the other way around so yeah. I'm touching a lot of like topics like that that's what's up alright so another side of you is that you're not only an R&B singer songwriter you also are a future entrepreneur why don't you Yes. Tell the people a little bit about what you're going to be releasing soon. So I came up with the brand Jahara Beauty Collection, um, which is obviously my name. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to be selling like um, lip glosses, lip balms to start off with. But I eventually want to branch out into like hair, into like nails and just make that a whole like beauty brand. So it's like as female artists, especially like beauty budget is a lot. <laughs> so yeah. I kind of want to cut the cost on that, but also make the money on that at the same time, if that makes sense. <laughs> now, what made you wanted to jump into the beauty salon industry? Well, I've always been into like beauty. Like my family actually thought, like at a young age, I was gonna be a hairstylist just because I was always into like doing, I learned how to do my own hair like really, really young. Yeah. Um, so they thought that that's what I was gonna be into, but I don't think I'm into like <laughs> doing other people's like services. Yeah. So. Um, I just wanted to find where I could fit into like the beauty industry. So nah, how do you feel it. so far? Good about I feel good about it. You know, I'm making the lip glosses myself, the lip balms myself. Like they're gonna be vegan. Right. That'll oh, be like wow. the selling point of them. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> well, that sounds different. Vegan. Like, what made you decide to go into like vegan? Uh, I think like the products that we buy. Yeah. In stores are very harmful. A lot of them are harmful. Yeah. So exactly. <laughs> I wanted to create something that wouldn't be humble <laughs> essentially yeah so. so you're definitely doing everything different it seems like r&b music doing things differently in that yeah. aspect with lit freestyle and now you're doing that with beauty yeah, like i've just been different since i was born <laughs> <laughs> you might as well play the two chains i'm different when you do something <laughs> like <laughs> i was just born i've always been like a different Breed. kid yeah like like the things that other people were into, I was just like, I don't want to do that. Like, I didn't even like playing tag, like, as a kid. I was like, why would I want to run in <laughs> circles? And, like, I just, I don't know. I've always been a little weird. <laughs> so what type of things were you into as a kid? Like, basketball-wise or, like? Um, As, like, like I was at elementary school age. Yeah. I was really into gymnastics. And that's when I started dancing. So yeah. I was really into that at that age. 
by the time I got to high school, um, I was still into all of that, but that's when I really started singing was in high school. Yeah. And I was really into sports, so I, I knew I couldn't play sports. I, right. <laughs> God did not give me those talents, <laughs> but I knew that I really liked to watch sports. Like, the women in my family are into sports. Like, I just wow. thought it was normal for, like, girls to be into that, so... Um, I was a basketball manager in high school. I was a basketball manager in college. Like I wow. majored in sports management in college. So, yeah. <laughs> now, something also about you. Not only are you an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. not only are you an R&B singer, but you are YouTube. But yes, I am. Now, seeing your YouTube videos, you've been doing a lot on hairstyling, mm-hmm. a lot on beauty makeups. Mm-hmm. And given that you're a dancer, you also did singing sometimes. How about interpret your dancing talent into your YouTube? Yeah, that's definitely what I want to do this year. It's funny you say that. Mm-hmm. I haven't danced since COVID, like the beginning of COVID. Wow. I haven't been to a dance class oh, at all. Yeah. Um, I used to teach dance too, like right before COVID. I was a dance wow. teacher and a cheerleading coach. So, um, yeah, it's definitely something I want to do this year. Well, I have to do this year because I want to incorporate that in more like music videos and performances because that's that's really where I started in music with dance. Yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely something I'm going to get back into this year. Like I have to. <laughs> And going back to your line for a second, yeah. when can people expect your line? Or when you hope hoping Hopefully to this summer. God mm-hmm. willing, we're going to all pray together and hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this summer. So how do you feel about that? You've been working hard on it. you work hard on your single and also on your yeah. business. That everything is coming together. Yeah. Like, how does it feel to know that you're managing two different career highlights mm-hmm. and you're getting ready to release in two different formats? Like, how do you feel about I'm that? I'm happy about it. I'm nervous. I'm happy. I'm like <laughs> all over the place, <laughs> but I essentially I'm happy about it. Like, what type of nervous are you feeling? Like, nervous, excited, or nervous? Like, oh. like both. Like, I'm literally an anxiety ball. Like, wow. <laughs> literally calm myself. I'm just like, ah, I freak <laughs> out about everything. Um, so I'm excited because I feel like people will like it. I'm confident that people yeah. will like it, but it's still like that. You know, that little like, ah, am I ready? Are they ready? Am I ready? Are they ready? <laughs> you know. So yeah. yeah. Now, what type of vibe do you feel that has? Because when I heard you sing, when you sent it to me, I feel like, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but it's like a Tiana Taylor type of vibe. Yeah. Do you feel that that's the mindset that you're going to do? Or like- it wasn't where I was intentionally going, but I love Tiana Taylor. <laughs> like, <laughs> So I feel like when you listen to an artist a lot, like you yeah. can subconsciously like you know pick up on things that they do, whether you, like, you want to or not. And I listen to her a lot. Like yeah. She's someone I definitely feel like doesn't get enough credit. She does everything. Exactly. <laughs> like, literally so. everything. Literally everything. So, just, she's definitely someone I aspire to be, you know? Yeah. <laughs> be like. It just, it's just not the same. Like, they definitely into a whole different vibe. Yeah, yeah. Like, definitely. <laughs> so, is there anything else that you like to add in terms of your new line that's coming out or your new singles that's coming out? Because you got multiple singles unreleased. Yeah. Just be ready for it. <laughs> just be ready for it. Yeah, I'm in a surprise. <laughs> lit freestyle is definitely going to be surprised. It is. <laughs> That's going to be lit. Lit is going to be lit. <laughs> <laughs> this is Charlie Jonas with In the Cave. Thank you, me and Jahar, for joining me Thank again. you for having me. <laughs> and stay blessed. Stay blessed.